What's up, y'all? I had a little free time today, so I'm going to go ahead and do the the another story time video. Um, I think I'm on 2014 already. It's been a while. Like I, I don't even remember what, what year I started. I think this could be like my 10th or 11th one. Um, yeah. A couple of things I want to say before this. Uh, Let me kill Mr. Passed away a couple of days after his birthday. Well, I just woke up this morning and found out just two days after David Bowie turned 69 that he passed away. Cancer. I remember uh, I found out about him from the Labyrinth movie. It was a good movie when I was a kid. And I knew he was pretty up there in age. And I always told people, the day David Bowie passes away, my heart's going to be broken. And um, it, it happened and my heart is broken. Um, terrible uh, that he's gone. I had only been hearing him for about maybe eight, nine years. And... Uh, yeah, it's sad. Um, I have like a bunch of like CDs with his songs. I had them put in, but um, when I learned how to do that, and uh, I have a couple favorites. Moon Age Daydream is one of my favorites. I like Rebel Rebel. I like uh, Hang On to Yourself, Ziggy Stardust. I like the entire uh, Labyrinth uh, album. That's that's my favorite. Magic Dance is always stuck in my head. Six Minutes of Heaven, that's what that is. Space Oddity. Ch -ch -ch changes. Uh, the Man Who Sold the World has been covered by everybody, but he's the originator. And uh, Fame, I like Fame. Yeah, Heroes, Life on Mars, Starman. The list goes on and on. Sephakra City. Um, yeah, the, um, the Next Day. Valentine's Day from his newer stuff. Yeah, rest in peace, Ziggy Stardust, Major Tom, David Bowie, Jareth the Goblin King. You'll be missed. Also, uh, I got another a Facebook. Um, same name. I took my girl's last name because why not? Troy Brewster. Catherine Brewster. Troy, uh, you can add me there, please. Trying to start fresh. New year. New account. New day. New way. But um, yeah, 2014. I can't believe I'm already here. Okay, uh, 2014 started off good. I was excited for 2014 because 2013 was the lead into that year, and I was mad excited for it. Um, I remember being excited when Batista came back um, at the Royal Rumble. Um, American Horror Story Season 3 had ended right before that, and I was happy that Batista won. Did he deserve to win? Maybe, maybe not, but I was actually willing to see where they were going to go with that. Um, the Smarks, on the other hand, just booed the crap out of it. Just boo. Ruined the show. Completely ruined it. I wasn't really in the Facebook wrestling community at the time. But I was on another website. People on the status is just bitching about it. Like, oh my god. Like, the man just came back. I mean, I mean, somebody said this on the Solo Monster group lately. Uh, there's a possibility that Triple H can come back and win the Royal Rumble and the World Title. There hasn't been a lot of people complaining about that. Oh, it's been seven years since he's been champion. Okay, well, Batista came back. Whatever. Oh, don't bother. it. Um, so, yeah, people was bitching, and then he got booed again against ADR. And then I really wanted Batista to win so bad at WrestleMania, and he fucking didn't. And I got mad, bro. I got so mad, bro. Now, TNA, uh, they were doing the whole thing with Team Dixieland or whatever. AJ Styles was about to leave like he was on his way out. Brutus Magnus was the TNA champion, and I was happy. Uh, they got a lot of new talent that year. MVP, the Wolves. Willow, well, Willow was Jeff Hardy, but I actually attended uh, my first TNA show in four years. I went to uh, Lockdown in Miami. It was the first week of March, and uh, yeah, I went. I got good seats. Um being there live was awesome. Uh, the, there were, one thing I found funny about it was we saw um, people selling merchandise. We saw, I think the guy's name is Jimmy J that we saw. And Dewey Barnes, you remember the jobber? He was selling merchandise. Um, and this fucking asshole was throwing a beach ball around the arena. 
And then there was like a CM Punk chant during one of the matches. Um, but the Lethal Lockdown match was fun. I liked it. I don't know what the fuck happened with Abyss coming out of the ring. People were chanting bullshit. I agree, it was bullshit. And it was funny too. Um, there was a time in the match where Magnus takes down Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe's like this. And then like he's like not getting up. And then this fucking drunk redneck is behind us. He's like, get up, fat ass. <laughs> fucking loud, man. That was funny. And then these kids were cheering for Gunner. And yeah, it was fun. Um, I I don't, I had fun. We went to we went to IHOP after it was done. But yeah, Batista didn't win at WrestleMania. And then shortly after, he left to go release uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Stupid John. Oh, uh, Brian got hurt. John Cena filled in for him. Boring. I didn't watch after that. The Shield disbanded. Um, I was in a shitty relationship, and thank God that that's over. God bless America for that. But uh. I remember telling you guys, like, a, maybe two or three years before this, I hung out with a group of guys. Well, I was really close to three of them. And uh, two of them two of them were struck by a car. Spring break 2014. And both of them passed away. I think one is in a coma, but he's about to go. I think he, he did go, actually. No one's heard anything. I did hear that they did disconnect the plug, but... You know, I still am not sure if that actually happened. Um, it most likely did, sadly. And then the other one just died on the spot. Um, we did attend the eulogy. It was very sad. Um, I can't believe in two months it would have been two years. Um, and the sad part is I actually found out. I was standing in the same spot waiting for the bus. And I found out on the phone, standing right where it happened, that um, what, what, what happened to... 24 hours before. I found out at the same spot where it happened. Horrible way to die. Um, terrible. They were both younger than me. And I feel bad for their families. Um, and rest in peace. I think... I I did move that summer, I believe. I moved to another house. Um, and... Uh, I did discover the Smart Busters that year. Which was cool. I actually found out about them because of WJ. I was so mad that Brian won and I was more mad that uh, people were behind it. I was sitting there thinking, um, am I the only one that feels this way? Like, why Why is everyone cheering for Brian? And um, WJ had made a response to like somebody saying, why are you guys pretending to hate Daniel Bryan? You guys are trolling. Um, and I'm like, somebody online hates Daniel Bryan? No way. So I found out, I looked to see who he was responding to. And then I discovered the Smart Busters. Um, and the thing that cool about them is I started like binge watching all their old videos. And uh, they were uploading them like every week. And then um, I joined the Facebook. And I've met like a bunch of other people that felt the same way. You know, non-smarts, like people with brains that know a real wrestler when they see one. You know, like Gene and Matt and... Everybody, I was like, oh my god, these guys are fucking awesome. And then even people, I've met people out not in their fan base from like other places on Facebook, other wrestling fans. So that's that's cool. Um, when I saw TNA like all the time, like I saw their New York tapings and all that. Um, WWE, I was like on and off because they would do things that interested me, and then they did shite things. I mean, I remember like. There was that one month of November where the last all of their videos were mostly about Ziggler and how much he sucks. I thought those were funny as hell. Um, and of course, everybody remembers Thanksgiving when Punk, his podcast with Coco Banner came out. He was talking all that shit about what went down with him uh, backstage because he left. Like he walked out after the Rumble. He was like, "Fuck it, CM Punk," and he didn't come back. People chanted his name out like every event, especially the Chicago ones. It was ridiculous. Yeah, that year was also the year that I started attending the dances, um, and they're fun, you know, usually. Uh, and then mm, the Halloween, Halloween, yeah, that was pretty fun. I remember going to a party and, like, just fucking taking all, the, they had pizza. And um, I swear to God, black and Spanish people, you give them free food and they devour it like a motherfucker. That's all that was in there. And they ate the pizza like they never ate anything in their life. That shit was like half cold. I ate it too. It wasn't bad. 
And then I remember just smuggling all the fucking candy. I don't, I don't think I was dressed up as anything. I mean, I think I had, like, blood on my mouth, but that was it. Fake blood, anyway. Um, the Thanksgiving that year was pretty cool. It was mostly just the me eating with my family. My family! And then I found out about that punk shoot or whatever, Uncle Banna. And then uh, the Smart Busters did, like, a series where they were talking about that. And then Danielson and them were going back and forth. Um, and then the Christmas that year was pretty fun, too. It was really quick, but really fun. Uh, I think my brother went to a, a Christmas Eve service. I remember just sticking around and preparing things for the next year. But that game, that, but that, that season, that Christmas season was fun. Uh, so, yeah, that was pretty much 2014 for me in a nutshell. Very long year, but very fun and, and one that brings back good memories for me to, to me to this day. So yeah, that was a fun year for me or whatever. And uh, let me know if you guys like this video. Uh, tell me how 2014 was for y'all. It was really amazing though, like WrestleMania 30, like that. They've been doing that WrestleMania event for 30 years. That's cool. It was also nice to see Evolution back. Too bad they got buried by the Shield. I also think that that's the year that the network launched. And that this NXT revolution began. Shaking my head. But yeah, um, that's 2014 in a nutshell. I know I sound pilled up in this video, but it was impromptu. I'm only shooting it now because I don't think I'll have time for the rest of the week to shoot it. So yeah, take it easy, y'all. And talk to you later. Peace out. Peace out, rabbit.